Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. 31. How you doing? Hey, brother right here. Sir, hey, excuse me, right here, right here. Come deal with me, bro. Awesome, we out here for you, ain't, bro. Look, guess what? Time is short. You gotta repent and keep God's commandments. You are the Israelites that the Bible is speaking of. That's right. And, and guess what? The Most High gave the Israelites a standard. Read that. The Book of James, chapter one and verse twenty-two. Uh -huh. But be ye doers of the word, uh -huh. and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. See that, sis? Because you, yes, yes. Because you deceive yourself if you do not keep God's commandments. Because you say, I have the love of Jesus Christ. Let me ask you a question. What's the love of Jesus Christ, sis? Come on. Be honest, loving him wholeheartedly. Uh-huh. And without self-blame or... Okay, but if I show you what the Bible says the love of Jesus Christ is, will you do that? Okay, let's get it. Cause since De Devin, I, I want to get your name right. Is it Devin? De Devon. Devon said that if Christ tells her what love is according to the Bible, that she's going to do it. Yes. All right. Let's hear it. The Book of Second John, verse six. Look at that. And this is love that we walk after His commandments. So what's love, Devon? That we walk after God's commandments. That's right. You people that say you love God and you don't keep his commandments, you are a liar. That's right. And you we can prove it. Our people are, are, we've been destroyed too long. Jesus. No one is perfect. We, I, what's, okay, I got a question, Davon. What's so wrong with us keeping God's commandments? Jesus. Somebody please tell me, what is wrong with us keeping Absolutely. God's commandments? Because right. I don't see no fault in it. I don't see no fault in not breaking his Sabbath. I don't see no fault in not smoking weed, which gives you lung cancer. All right, so Davon, we said keeping his commandments, right? Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. You see that, Devin? Though I am a sinner, yeah, but, I yeah. do not want to be led astray. Right. So God is telling you, Jesus Christ is telling you, keep his commandments. If you love him, keep his commandments. Right. And we are what was one of the commandments we gave you? What was one what was one of them that we gave you? We told you about the pants, right? So what you gonna do? That's what you got, but guess what, sis? We, we got women that started in that same position right. as you. But guess what, we can't make excuses. That's right. Because if we sin, give me yeah, sin willfully, uh, Hebrews. If this we sin, yes, sis, at, yes, yes. And God is gonna deal with you. Wisdom will dwell with you at, where, at the point that you have. But you can't continue in that. You have to grow by one dress at a time. Buy another dress, you know what I'm saying? Get a couple skirts, yeah. Because every every day that we waste, That's we don't know I'm if we're gonna wake up. We don't know if we're gonna wake up tomorrow. So you Jesus have to make Lord those today. proper steps. That's and right. this is what God say, Davon. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully. You see that? If we sin willfully. Yes, that, that sometimes we do commit sins, right. but it, it, we cannot be sinning willfully. Right. You, hold on, sis, hold on, hold on, sis. You can't say, well, I don't have pants. I mean, I don't have dresses, so I'm just going to continue to wear pants. Once you learn that you have to get out of those pants, you have to make strides. That's right. You honest, buy one dress. What you're gonna wear. Buy two dresses. Buy three dresses. 
You see what I'm saying? And eventually, those pants won't be in your closet no more. Right. It'll be full of dresses. That's right. You see that? Read. When we sin willfully, after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. You see that? You're receiving the knowledge of the truth, That's sis. Right. Of course. And, and What's the knowledge of the truth? Hold that. Don't lose that. Yes, What's the knowledge of the truth? His word, okay, we gonna get it for you, sis. Because guess what? What's one thing you've seen that we did since you've been standing here? Have I been just telling you what I feel? Uh, no. You what I've been doing? You've been telling me strictly from the Bible. I've been telling you strictly what God says. That's right. That's how you know we men of the Lord. Because we're not gonna tell you that what we feel. Right. That I need to cling to my word. Yes, you do, sis. Did, so. But guess what? Yeah. Some of that you need help, sis. That's right. You're gonna need help. That's right. Some of it you can't do by yourself. That's right. Okay. Guess what? These men right. didn't change yeah. by, on our own. Right. It didn't happen overnight. No, it don't happen overnight, right. but we can't sin willfully, right? Yes. Read that. Let's yep. see what the knowledge is. The book of Malachi, chapter two and verse seven. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So why when we go to these churches, they don't teach God's commandments? Teach us. The Bible said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. All of these churches, you got a million churches in Denver, right? But they ain't teaching God's commandments. That's right. Because guess what, sis? They are being paid by the government to keep you in sin. Right. Because guess what? Yeah, because there's a bigger agenda. That's right. If we keep these people destroyed, we can remain on top. Okay. But if they come back to their laws and they keep God's mm. commandments as the Israelites, they're gonna fall. That's right. The, this nation is going to crumble. Mm. You can yeah. see it. War is coming. That's right. Famine is coming. Right. You got to get right, sis. Prophesy. But God is with you, who can be against you. But God is with you when you keep his mm. commandments. Because remember, we just read, if you say you know him and you don't keep his commandments, you're a liar. Right. So God is that only is with true. you if you keep the commandments. That's right. True. Read. Let's get the knowledge. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what's the knowledge they should seek at his mouth? Huh? No. No, read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Uh -huh. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what should, what should the pastors be teaching us? The right way. What, what did the Bible just say, the sis? Law. The law. That's, That's right. The right now let's go back to Hebrews because now we understand what the knowledge is, right? right? The law is what they should be teaching us. So the only way that we can have an excuse for sin is if we don't know. But even then, sis, there's no excuse. That's right. Because you are going to hear this word. Right. That's why we came out here. You think it was a coincidence that the Lord brought you here today? Mm. He brought you here to learn what you must do as That's a woman. Right. Remember, we said the war is coming. I wasn't running from you, you was, the, I said I was not running from it. You wasn't running from all no. praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. So look, sis, you cannot sin willfully. You're uh, learning the laws of God today. That's right. You have to hit that number up. Come to the school. Right. Come be around sisters that used to be how you were. Right. And they will show you what you must do. That's, that's right. That's the job. That's, that's what we're supposed to do. Right. That's how we're going to build our nation. Up. That's right. That's how we stop killing each other. Right. Stop that's how we stop hating the each help other. That's not helpful. Exactly. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. And what, what's that knowledge again, sis? His laws. That's Read. Right. There remained no more sacrifice for sin. Because they say Jesus Christ came and died for our sins, right? Right? That's true, right? That's true, right? So read that last part again. There remained no more sacrifice for sin. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remained no more sacrifice for sin. You see that, sis? Don't lose sight of his Don't. Don't, after you learn to keep his commandments, don't turn away from them. Right. Because that sacrifice will be in vain. That's right. You see that? And and yes, Christ did yeah, die for us. Exactly, Lord because guess what? Christ is coming to judge this earth. That's right. Look at that. And those that are not keeping his commandments, he is going to kill them, right. sis. We don't want you to die. Right. We love our people. Give me that uh, uh, one and eight. Zephaniah one and eight. Because if we sin willfully, sis, 
there remained no more sacrifice for sins. You cannot, you, you don't want to be in that gray area where you said, I don't, I don't know. Right. You want to know what you must do so that when Christ comes, you will be saved. Right. That's right. You will be on the right side of judgment. That's right. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. You see that, sis? You see how she walk around with them shorts on? That strange apparel. Right. If she don't correct herself, Christ will kill her. That's right. That's what the Bible is about. That's right. We learn that we got to keep God's commandments, right? We repent. We start doing it. We change our ways. And then Christ comes to save us. That's right. But if we don't do that, he will kill us, sis. Right. You also got to know where to start. That, that's what we told, we told you with the pants. Let's get her something else to start with, fringes. Let's get you something else that you can start with, sis. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? The, the outward appearance, that's easy. It's the, the, the person no, within. I'm not denying it's the person within I that we have to uh, simply... get more, that takes more time. That's right. But these little things like the fringes, the side, that's easy. That's right. We have to get those things so we can elevate to the next status. Please so go. we can stop having hatred for each right. other. See, that's the thing. But, I okay. Dislike okay. You. All right. I, I got you. I got you, sis. Listen to this. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 37. Look it up. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. So, sis, you're the children of Israel. Right. You see that? You're not African American. You're not black. Right. You're not Creole. You're right. not Native American. Right. God is talking to you. That's this Bible right. is for you. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So you supposed to have fringes, sis, on your dresses. Right. How you doing, sis? What's your name? I'm major. You're major? Yeah. Okay, sis. I'm Rafia. So you know you know your nationality? Yeah. You know you're an Israelite. Okay, all praises. So sis. We teaching uh, they they vine to keep God's commandments. So this is what you have to do, sis. You have to start keeping God's commandments. Give me that modest. This is one of the. This is why our people are destroyed because we're not teach. We're not being taught God's commandments. You see that? Read. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. I got you. The book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Oh, what's your name again, sis? Major. Major. You have to adorn yourself in modest apparel. You walk around here like you are right now, sis, that's not pleasing to God. Right. You have to put on a dress. Right. You have to be modest. Right. You can't walk around here with all your stuff out. Right. Because you knowing you're an Israelite, God is against that. Mm. God ain't, he don't want our women out here dressing this way. Because guess that? what? If I didn't know you, the way you dress, what would I say? No, sis, Major, come deal with me. We here for you, sis. You can't run from this Bible. Right. Because guess what? Either you get uh, judged by the men of the Lord or you get judged by God. That's right. And I don't think you want that judgment from God. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.